They will no longer eat in the open and in sanitary, in sanitary conditions. Well, students of the Zoko Senior High School in the Bongo district of the Upper East Region have been deprived of a dining hall following the stalling of a dining hall complex. Now, after Mission reported of the situation for the students, now the district assembly has erected a shed to enable students enjoy meals in a convenient environment. A dining hall complex is left uncompleted for over eight years. Troubled students in a distressed school. They eat under distressed conditions. I'm standing in the middle of over 1,700 students. This is the population of the Zoko Senior High School here in Zoko in the Bongo district. You, you can see behind me to my left and also to my right. It's a gathering and this is what they do every day breakfast, lunch, and supper. When it comes to their ticket of eating, this is totally left out because the students just pick their food and off they go. Authorities are simply distressed. The dining hall is uncompleted. School classrooms are uncompleted. This is indeed a distressed school. Now following my colleague Bright, Nana Amphos, Mission Ghana report on the condition under which students of the Zoko Senior High School take their meals. The Bongo District Assembly intervened by erecting the structure that you see to provide a conducive environment for students. At the cost of 150,000 cities, the shed provides a more conducive eating atmosphere for the over 1,000 students of the Zoko Senior High School. We as an assembly decided to show a human face because we saw that that was not too good in the 21st century. So we decided to put up a temporary dining hall for the students. And as we talk, we, we have almost completed that facility. That facility is costing us 150,000 Ghana cities because we needed to expand it to be able to contain about 1,300 students, students in that school. Our initial plan was to make it a, uh, some stream so that some will come and eat then when they are done another batch will come and eat but um, the headmaster thought that that could delay the contact hours so we reasoned with them and decided to expand what is left is to put up wall around so the animals i think the walls are there just that they are not up to the they are around knee level wanted to get to chest level so the animals and wind cannot easily blow and pollute their food work on a multi-purpose dining hall structure which commenced seven years ago and currently at the foundation level has stalled. The Bongo District Chief Executive Peter Ayamga Ayimbisa wants the contract abrogated and re-awarded. We should begin to give work to people who have the equipment, the material, the logistics and the resources to be able to execute such projects. They were supposed to have been done under certificate of emergency and this is why we still have seven years down the line a certificate a project of that is supposed to serve an emergency is still not completed then we have a problem meanwhile the district assembly has also commenced work on a three classroom block for the zoko kanga primary school the block is being constructed from the one million dollar per constituency facility by government it is expected to be completed in three months. As part of the $1 million per constituency initiative, we decided to put up a three-unit classroom block in Zoko Kanga Primary School. As we talk, it is, it is at roofing level. Just within six months, we are able to construct that facility. And we, 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 within the next two, three months, that facility will be roofed for the children. That's our mission for tonight. It's brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, UK Aid and the EU.